everybody my name is Tay and welcome back to my channel inspire me where I talk about current or relatable topics all from a dollar perspective and today's topic is called are you putting in the work now before I get started with that topic um, as I was reading um, the ghost of scripture for today which is coming from James the second chapter um, as I was reading um, I see like the answer to my previous um, videos the video that um that was called favoritism when I was on um, closing the scripture I think it was from Acts the 10th chapter and a 34 34th verse when it said God has no respect of a person that was Peter saying he believed that God has no respect of a person but here it goes um James the the second chapter the first verse it says my brethren have not the faith of our Lord Jesus Christ the Lord of glory with respect of persons but so now I'm now I'm confused now I gotta ask God for clarity because here it goes Peter saying that he believed that Jesus has no respect of a person but I'm not sure who's quoting it but like I said it's coming from the book of James the second chapter the first verse is saying that God um, the Lord of glory with respect of persons so I'm confused with that <laughs> and also my other video that was um named um mine is better than yours um the scriptures that I should have actually quoted for that video would have been perfect with this and that's also coming from the book of James the second chapter verse I think 10 I'm sorry verse 2 through I think was it Five, verse two through five so just pretty much when you get a chance just read that but um uh, verse two uh, through five is pretty much saying like the exact same way that you you feel me that you feel for a person that you consider as high class is the exact same way you should feel for somebody that you feel as low class and that's pretty much what the scripture is referring to so like i said i should have used the scripture so i'm gonna link it in the description of this um video as well as the um description of the video mine's better than yours so you can um go to that scripture uh for reference but like i said today's scripture is called are you putting in the work and it's coming from the book of james the second chapter it's verse 14 through 26, but I'm pretty much just going to read verse 14 through 17. And it's talking about faith without works is dead. A lot of times, when it's good to have faith, don't get me wrong. It's great to have faith, but if you're having faith without works behind it, then it's not going to profit you nothing. I'm going to say, for instance, if a person wants a job. And they can have faith like, God, I believe in you that you will bless me with this job. I know for a fact somebody's going to call me for a job. But in actuality, you do not put in no application for a job whatsoever. Not even one. Not even, not, you didn't even start. You feel me? You didn't even put your name on the application. <laughs> but for some reason, you believe that God's going to bless you with the job. And even if you did put in one application, you have to put in multiple applications. Don't just put in one application and expect that put all your 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 belief in thinking this one person is gonna call you for a job when you only get one application. Put in multiple applications. You feel me? A couple of them, so you have a choice. You feel me? So if one person don't call you, that's okay. Maybe the other person will call you. You feel me? That's what the scripture is saying. It's good to have faith, but if you don't have works behind it, it's pretty much dead. And um, I'm just going to start at verse 14. What does it profit, my brethren, though a man say he have faith and have not works? Can faith save him? If a brother or sister be naked and destitute of daily food, and one of you say unto them, Depart in peace, be ye warmed, and filled notwithstanding ye give him i'm sorry notwithstanding ye give them not those things which are needful to the body what does it profit pretty much what this scripture is saying 
if a person comes to you saying, like, I'm cold, I'm hungry, and you being a religious person saying, in Jesus' name, I command your belly to be full. I command that you are warned in the name of Jesus. Okay, that might sound all good, you feel me? But if you're not giving these people a jacket, <laughs> you feel me, to keep them warm, if you're not giving them a blanket to, you know, shield them from the cold, if you're not filling their belly up with food, it could be a bologna sandwich. It could be something simple as chips, I don't know. But as long as you're feeding them, that's works, you feel me? I'm not saying just do works alone and not have, because there's some people that just do works alone. They might give you food, they might give you a blanket, but they, they don't have faith to say, you know, I'm giving you this food, but in Jesus' name, I'm going to give you the um, equipment to, you know, have food from, from, from now and so, so forth, you feel me? Just calling them on Jesus, you know, just pray to read the Bible, you know, things like that. You feel me? You got to have faith and words. So, like, don't get me confused. Like, some people are sometimes, they, they are, uh, are, um, what you call that? Like, they're one way. They may have faith, just faith alone, and it might be like, like I said, just, um, example, like, you know, be ye warm, then I command you this and that, but they're not doing anything behind it. And then there's another person that might be, that might give you food, that might give you um, shelter, that might give you clothing, but they don't have no type of spiritual um, background. You feel me? They can't connect you to Christ because, because they're without Christ. You feel me? So you have to find that balance. You feel me? Faith without works is dead. So let me just continue um, reading. How you doing? How y'all doing? Um, and one of you say unto them, I think I read this. Okay. Even so faith, if it have not works, is dead being alone. So that's pretty much all. So like I say, you have to have works as well. So when, like this title says, are you putting in that work? It's good to have faith. Don't get me wrong. It's great to have faith. But you just can't have faith alone. The scripture speaks for itself. So have faith and works. That's pretty much my message for today. Make sure you like. Make sure you share. And I am, like I said, increasing. My subscribers are increasing. Glory be to God. You feel me? Even after, even after I reach the um, 100 mark, I'm going to keep on, you know, having faith and, you know, and... Just, just, just make it, you feel me? Do y'all do y'all part, share, you feel me? Like, so uh, we can reach that goal. And I can do this giveaway to y'all, you feel me? So just make sure you like, share, um, and also subscribe to my channel. You have a blessed day. Hey y'all, how y'all doing today? Um, hopefully y'all can hear me over all this noise. I'm just watching my kids right now. They're playing right now. But um, when I recorded this message, it was yesterday. And I forgot to make a statement regarding I didn't want to re-record re and I was doing all the editing. Ain't nobody got time for that. <laughs> but I just wanted to make this statement regarding that message. People also like to say, you know, God bless me financially. I want to be blessed. God bless me. Um, I need this money. I, I, I just want you to bless me. But they don't like to sow seeds. When they come to sowing seeds, they be like, uh-uh, I'm keeping my money. They need to sow a seed to me. You feel me? But you want God to bless you. Or when it comes to paying your tithes. And the Bible says you're supposed to pay your tithes. But you have a mindset of saying, Oh, I'm not giving these money to the preachers. Oh, these preachers using the money to uh, do this and that. That they didn't even use their money the wise way. It don't matter if the preachers are using it. You feel me? The wrong way. Let God show you what church you go to. Because there are some preachers that don't use the money the right way. So that's probably not the church you should be sowing it to or paying your tithes to. But God will lead you. But let God, God is the one that's going to bless you, not the church, not the people, not the pastor, but God. You feel me? Still pay your tithes, but you want God to bless you financially. Like, you, you're, not do, you're not having words. You're only probably having faith, saying, God, please bless me, but you're not having words. You feel me? So you got to have works and, as well as faith. I think that's pretty much it. Y'all have a blessed day.